we've got another beer from Polly's Brew Co. It's Flora, that's the name of the beer, and it's a lovely looking can. And this is an India Pal Hour, 8.6.8%. But what's it gonna be like? Keep watching to find out. Welcome back to Rocker's Beer Review. Today we're reviewing another beer from Polly's. It seems like we don't have many and then suddenly we have quite a few in a row. But yeah, I bought this one with the other Polly's one. And yeah, I really like the look of this one. I like the artwork. It's an IPA, 6.8%. The only thing I'm a little unconcerned with is I suddenly realised that it's got Equinox in it. And that's an Equinox hop for me. It can be a little bit prickly. It's the best way of describing it. It can be like really sort of over overly uh, sharp and overly sort of with a slight bitterness um, sort of grapefruit flavour that's what I think it always brings but we've got Citra, Simcoe and Nelson Sorvin three hops that I really like so uh, maybe it will be a bit lower down in, in, in the sort of uh, mix as it were uh, and just to say 6.8% so it's a high end of the of IPA let's crack it open get it in the glass see what it's all about Obviously, it's going to be good. It's Polly's, you know, they, they're the masters of this sort of beer. But as you say, Equinot, mm, yeah, okay, we'll see how that goes. Certainly, beer in a glass is looking the part straight away. And I'm starting to get good at this pouring luck. Look at that beautiful golden yellow colour. It's really bright yellow. Two fingers, just how I like it. White, white, pretty compacted head. And already, the room has been is filled with certainly a lot of grapefruit, which you know, okay, we'll we'll see how that goes. Um, but lots of citrus fruits already. I didn't put my nose to it, so let's get stuck in right now. Oh, it smells really bright, fresh, sharp. You know that there is that equinox is is fairly well high up in the mix. I would say lots of grapefruit aromas, lemons, limes. There's even a bit of, I mean, I'll say even a bit, of course, there's Nelson, forget there's Nelson Sorin in it. There's lots of, uh, there's gooseberry that's coming in. That's a little bit prickly as well in terms of its aroma. Yeah, lots of grapefruit, gooseberry, citrus, and citrus on citrus. A very, very sort of crisp and zesty. And then actually, we've had some hot weather here. I'm looking forward to this. I've got a nice first on. So let's crack it. Cheers, everyone. Actually, that works really well. I know there's equinox in it. Certainly the characteristics, that little prickliness is in there. But it's held back a little bit by the rest of the hops doing their work. Nelson Sorvin's coming through. And again, Nelson Sorvin can overpower beers, but it's just in there in the background. You're getting that grape and gooseberry flavour. There's lots of lemon. There's lots of grapefruit. There's lots of lime all up front. And it's wrapped up in a really soft velvety creamy almost mouthfeel i think the reason why I, I mean the mouthfeel is really soft and really good i think the only reason i wouldn't call it overly creamy or velvety is just because there's such a prickly sort of flavor of grapefruit and gooseberry that sort of pick it sort of it sort of makes it a prickly sort of mouthfeel as well that doesn't make much sense because it's quite soft but it's a prickliness of flavor Yeah, that's really good. There's no doubt in this Equinox. There's definitely got that Equinox twang in it. But I've had I had Equinox in something recently in a, in a in a in a bar, and I don't I think it was Equinox and probably Citra. There was just two hops, and Equinox was really sort of big. I mean, you are getting you get this dryness on the back end. The the grapefruit flavour sort of mellows a little bit in your mouth, and you're sort of left with a a slightly resinous uh, finish really but it's it's a really good beer in terms of you get all that fruit and zest up front and then once it's just sitting on the palate it develops a little bit more flavour it gives that little bit of crisp bitterness and a little bit of resin and a little bit of more mature sort of grapefruit flavours I think it's a really well put together beer and it's another winner from Polly's so it is soft I would say probably medium bodied Polly's know how to make this beer. I'm still, I still think that Equinox is, is, is still over dominant compared to the other hops on this. 
it's held back a little bit, but it's it's close to just pushing over the edge really. So if you if you if you're like me and not a massive fan of Equinox, maybe you you know you haven't really thought too much about it. I mean, it's only recently I've had a few beers and I thought, oh, there's that distinct flavour. I think it's definitely the Equinox. So if you're not into that that sort of flavour, um, then then just be wary of, of of this. But I think if you like that sort of prickliness. And I think Equinot has that, it's almost getting to that point where it's it's going more as a sort of a Westy sort of vibe, you know, with that sort of resin, with that slight bitterness. But the rest of the hops and obviously the way that it's brewed keeps it in check in terms of being a lower bitterness sort of beer. But there is definitely that twang. So, you know, it's not just juice, really. So, yeah, I mean, a lot of people like that. A lot of people want that. Don't want just soft fruity juice sort of flavors they want something on the back end they want that little bit of prickly bitterness they want a little bit of sharpness of grapefruit and you're getting that with this it's a good beer is it up there with polly's best it's not it's not the best polly's beer but you know the fact is they make consistently good beers great beers in fact that you know every beer has started to get to the point where you think yeah there's different there's lots of differences to them but is it better than the last polys I had? Yeah, difficult to tell. I mean, I'm still a massive fan of their parallels. I think not any other breweries that I've I, I've had have got uh, have got their parallels as close as uh, perfection as polys have. IPAs, yeah, there are a couple of competitors. Certainly, new ones like Azvez and Sure Shot, you know, Cloud Water Track, those sort of breweries that make very good IPAs. So they, I think the competition's stronger at the IPA level. Um, but this is a very good beer. If you like these hops, I think you'll like it. It's all put together in a lovely package. It's soft, got great aromas, and it's fruity and nice. So give it a go. Let's get some scores. Okay, the scores are in four. It's Flora. It's an IPA, 6.8%. We've got Citra, we've got Equinot, we've got Simcoe, and we've got Nelson Sorbet. It's a, a nice blend of hops there, really. Four hops, you think, oh, you know, where are they all going to fit in? But they all do a bit of work. The Citra brings that brightness to it. The Equinot brings that prickly grapefruit. The Nelson brings the... Um, the grape, the gooseberry, and the sort of Simcoe brings that little bit more of earthiness and grounds the beer a little bit better. But it's a lovely looking can and it's a lovely looking beer. So starting with the scores with aroma. Appearance. Flavour. Value for money. My overall experience. Tighten the scores up, we get... Yeah, it's a highly recommended beer. Total score off, definitely worth a go. As I say, you see Polly's on the shelf and you're thinking, oh, Polly's, I've heard of them. I wonder what these are these going to be like. Give yourself, do yourself a favour and take one or two of them out, out with you. I think most people that have had a couple of Polly's at a time will probably say, yeah, I'm a fan for life. Make great beers, still making great beers. And yeah, I think they're going from strength to strength this year. So that's enough for me. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Really helps the channel. Um, if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. Then you'll know exactly when every beer review is released. And until the next one, you know what we're going to do. Drink good craft beer and keep on rocking.